Hey everyone, welcome back to Honeydale Farm, uh, where it is the first of winter and we have an absolute ton of farming to do. Uh, this wasn't the episode that I thought we were going to be doing, uh, but our... Our kegs are, have popped, um, so we have extra work that I wasn't counting on. Uh, but we're gonna do it all. Uh, just because if I was following along, this is something that I would want to see. Um, but uh, it's just gonna be a farming episode. We're we're farmers today. Um, we're going. We need to hoe our main crass cash crop fields, um, fertilize them, and then plant. And then we also need to swap out our starfruit wine. Uh, all of those things are are not like a small thing to do. We now have 270 kegs. So I guess this will be a good test of our farm again. Every time I say I don't want the farm to get too big because I don't want it to be too much work, I make the farm bigger. So uh, we'll find out if uh, this is too much work. <laughs> okay, so uh, first, let's just uh, start doing kegs here. We're going to ignore everything else Let me just go through the stupid door. Uh, we're gonna ignore everything else in favor of getting this done. Um, last night I said I was just gonna go around and do some tiles. I didn't do that. What I did was uh, I went around and picked up my sprinklers because because we have to hoe the ground. Um, I didn't want, if I had left the sprinklers down, there'd be some watered spots and some not watered. And we're not going to, I didn't think we were going to have time to water everything, and there was no need. We're going to use Deluxe Speed Grow on our winter seeds that we saved from last year. That's where we got them from. Um, we'll use Deluxe Speed Grow on them, and instead of getting three harvests, we'll get five harvests. Uh, deluxe Speed Grow on, on winter seeds, or any of the foraging seeds, are a little bit of a pain in the butt, because um, when the seeds mature, they have a chance of... Well, we'll do that one second. They have a chance of untilling the ground, so you'll need to reapply more Deluxe Speed Grow and, and Reho. Uh, so it's a little bit annoying, um, but it's worth it, like, in terms of uh, money and what you get in return. What I thought today would be, would be us just farming that field and then I thought we'd have time to go forage to look for so we could make more winter seeds and I was gonna go dig up the beach talk to some, to some town people I thought it'd be like a nice a nice relaxed day everybody could see what the farm looked like in the snow uh, yeah but instead we're doing these stupid kegs and if these kegs are popped our, I haven't been keeping track just because it, we haven't been as busy as we were earlier in the, the playthrough when I was trying to get like so much stuff done. Um, but I think there's a good chance our pumpkins might pop today too. So yeah, it is just farming. And did I get all these kegs? Because I don't want to be going back searching for these. Hey, Holly. Coffee back up. Mm -hmm. 
So what is it? It's 11 o'clock already? So what is that, 12? So it takes us about five or six hours to fill these kegs. too much. <laughs> uh, but I needed to make the, I needed to make the, um, more kegs in order to, so we could process the ancient fruit that we're going to grow. You know, and what do we have? We have two left. I think there's two kegs under a tree somewhere that we might have missed. No, I got those. Hey! I got those. <sighs> Do we want to go into each one and look for which ones we missed? We got all of those there. We're going to just do this really quick. Those look good. Good, good, good. And what about in here? Oh, I see one right there. There's one. And there's the other. I look two. Okay. So it's one o'clock. That took like the whole day. And this is why I didn't want our farm to be too big. Because I didn't want... When I'm just like puttering around the, the farm, like I enjoy it and I don't mind spending the whole day here. But when I feel like I'm like forced to because I have work to do, I don't like it. Isn't that the way? Drink some more coffee. You can never have enough coffee. Is it two o'clock? Will we get done in time? And we're planning these for obviously money. And just because I like the way the the forage crops look, it's all pretty blues and purples with the like white blue snow so it's nice and these fields right here are 480 uh, spots If, if we wanted to, um, say, grow more, make more money, uh, what we would do, we want to do is uh, grow more star fruit in the summertime. And if we were going to do that, uh, one of the ways that we could expand these fields, we could take out these dividers, uh, these dividers, and then that would give us almost, um, we could have like another row of of iridium sprinklers uh, but again I don't want too much work so we size the field we size uh, our fields in order to to give us about 10 million a year is what we want our the income on this farm to be and that I thought would be enough to to get like the Junimo huts and the, the obelisks um, and the clock in a timely manner. I mean, we're not going to be able to get the clock this year. Um,
but we'll easily be able to afford it next year. Actually, this isn't taking as long as I thought. We probably have, a, what, another six hours? So we might be done by, what, 11 or 12? It's like, uh, that's pretty early. <laughs> Let's hope uh, this, this part goes well. And this part, you guys seen, it's, uh, it's just harvesting, but in reverse. So I'll spend, you have, with Deluxe Speed Grow, you have until the third to get um, these, all these crops in the ground. So uh, for the next few days, I'll, uh, mm -hmm. I'll spend um, foraging and just seeing if I could get mm -hmm. some more, some more seeds for our other fields. The Junimo field, our kitchen crop field, and our wind, uh, our mill field. Because we have the sprinklers and the and everything already laid out, like it's it's pointless not to um, not to put crops in them. But then after that, it is I'll be um, looking for artifacts, which means looking for artifacts and fishing in order to finish up the last of our achievements. If um. I thought I would bring you back uh, maybe one more day in in the winter, uh, just so you could see what the farm looked like, and I don't know, maybe go catch the winter legend if we can. Um, it's it's kind of a hard one. Um, mm -hmm. What is going on? It's, it's not going to plan at all. And then the rest of the time, I figured I would just be uh, artifact hunting, um, fishing for treasure chests, because you get a lot of artifacts in treasure chests. And then also um, the mine, because we need we need geodes, we need um, we need geodes for that one mineral, and then to finish up the monster slaying quests. You know, slime, skeletons, bats, whatever, uh, whatever those quests are. Okay, this didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. This isn't bad. So yeah, I think I think the farm. I mean, it's it's bigger than I had planned when I first started, but I don't think it's too big. That was uh. I mean, we didn't take care of the, oh, and our yeah our pumpkins did pop, so we need to turn those over too. Oh, and I gotta put sprinklers down. Duh. Okay, well let's do, oh, and here's our uh, old jack-o'-lantern here, so, scoop you up. We'll do our pumpkins, there's only 52 pumpkins. And we have, we probably don't have enough preserve jars for, um, oh no, turn that back on. Uh, we probably don't have enough preserve jars for two seasons worth of crops. But I don't know that I want more, so I might grow. So if if like I start to get a backlog of of crops and I don't have the uh, 
I can't process them. I would probably uh, decide for like the spring season to grow strawberries instead of doing the rhubarb that needs to be preserved. Um, the strawberries wouldn't make as much money as the rhubarb, but it's still like good money. And then it would be done. We've, uh, we've, we've relied pretty heavily on, where are the other two? Oh, by the greenhouse in case I was working down this way. Um, we've relied really heavily on, uh, preserving all of our crops. Um, But there's good crops to sell outright as well. And you could like do a mix. Like you don't have to always, like we have our one big cash crop and uh, and don't really mix it up. Uh, but we could. Let's sell that. And then we need to get them sprinklers down. Cause I do not want to hand wire that at all. How many diamonds was that? Why am I hoarding diamonds? Should we sell? Let's um let's bring all these down to like stacks of five. Is that better? I think I still need to befriend the dwarfs, so I'm gonna keep I'm going to keep the toe bat passes because I've been giving that to the dwarf. Uh, just because these are the cheapest gem. So, uh, so the cheap presents make the best, <laughs> are the best birthday presents. Okay, and let's get a little bit more uh, coffee in my inventory. And, uh, and I never made it to the store to get, um, to get another apple tree. That's fine. And there you go. We used up like a, every single second of this day. Uh, but we did pretty good. I want an apple tree for down here. Where is our little return scepter? And Hudson said that you could, um, you can click anywhere on the screen if you have the return scepter, scepter selected. Let's go see what, uh, Sebastian has to say. Nothing. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let's, let's put an end to this fun-filled day. Oh, I bet you we got... Our 10 million, I bet. Bet, bet, bet. Yeah, 940,000. Almost a million. 850,000 in starfruit wine. And this is where we make our money. Um, I think I've said it before. We probably, out of like the 10 or 11 ish million that I expect to, to make in a year on this farm, probably eight of it is in starfruit wine. Let's see. Yep, 10.867, almost 11 million. Uh, we have our shipping achievement completed. We can catch these three fish in the winter. Artifacts, I'm gonna work on it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Minerals, I think we can get that last one. Uh, we only have a few more recipes to cook. And really, we're waiting to catch a squid and learn two of them. So that's almost done. And let's see. I thought it was an achievement. What we have left is craft every item, catch every fish, cook every recipe, and complete the museum. Um... Ah, uh, here we go. Legend. That's right. Uh, earn 10 million. So there you go. We're, uh, 
Honeydale Farm is a is a legendary farm now. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, like always, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll come back for the next one. Bye-bye!